We've been fortunate over the last few years to be called the greatest show in sports, so now we're actually gonna show it to kick off this tour. And this is gonna be the first video of its kind, and Yvonne has spent hours storyboarding to try to get this right, and Kristen here has helped choreograph a simple, fun, awesome dance, which we're gonna do. In, out, in, out, three times. You're gonna start spinning on your right foot, and you're gonna end facing third base. So you're here, taking your left knee, kicking karate style with your right. We exist to make baseball fun. That's where everything started. So Banana Ball was born. This is Banana Land. We're gonna start this off. Coach Rachel's got a little something he wants to show everybody to, uh, to get our week started. Stop it. What we got, Ranch? What is that? I'm finished this minute to the whole staff. It's the best organization of all time, Savannah Bananas. Love you, love you, brother. Love you, brother. All right, we're going to go over these things uh, this morning. We're filming a big video tonight for like our greatest showman intro to the 2023 tour. So there's like a lot of energy around the stadium. Uh, Yvonne, you want to talk about the video tonight? We are shooting a video tonight. It's it's a piece that uh, Jesse and I and, and Zach have been working on for a month now. Um, I definitely didn't have stress dreams over it last night. <laughs> <laughs> Just thank you guys again. Um, it's gonna be great tonight. All right. See you in West Palm Beach. Let's do it. Two claps under Claire. <laughs> Woo! Jesse, um, here we are sitting Monday. Your guys' first game is Friday. What goes in as far as getting ready for a banana ball? The best comparison is it's like it's a giant rock band going on tour. I mean, we have not only obviously all the merchandise, but all of our equipment, our promotions, our entertainment, our gear. And going from a one city world tour to a seven city, now to a 33 city, it's a big challenge. How's it going, Mando? Yeah. We're not injured yet. Everything's going in. All right, back move. Down. <laughs> Today, game day. Uh, for tonight, big thing is director Yvonne's going to come out. You know, I'm going to be in director mode. It's going to be like a little high strung there for a little bit. So when we have 150 people here and we have to try to get everything right in one take, it's, it's pretty tough. So just be aware for performers, be ready to do pretty much all of your character stuff tonight. Stilts, be ready to be in stilts, obviously. I don't know why I said that, that was stupid. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, just, just be ready. Uh, so let's get out there, get uh, ready for uh, this rehearsal and then uh, go from there. This is a big busy day. You guys are crushing it, we're locked in. We're playing a rehearsal game today. And this season, we're gonna put a strong emphasis on the party animals to bring their show to a whole nother level. We're doing Valentine's workout now. There's a future where there's a city that has the party animals. I think what you guys learned last year was how to improv, because we didn't always have set things for you. You learned how to improv and create things. Do I to continue to do more of that, all right? You're, you're wearing them out right now. They're not used to it. Well, pre-game disco shirt. Mr. Electric's coming out, and it's gonna be disco with Dearman every Saturday night, you know? It's electric. <laughs> What 
else could we do instead of these? It says not to hold these. <laughs> We've gotten by in the six game series. 90 games our arms are gonna get blown off. Wait, the first yeah. thing it says do not hold in hand. Shot to third between the legs. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. I am it. <laughs> 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 We had a marketing meeting this morning and then afterwards just met with the video team kind of finalizing the last couple of things. At this point, it's just waiting until the sun sets and, uh, and we can get going. And I wish it would happen sooner because my anxiety is getting the best of me. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hey. So one thing that we really want to focus on this year is how your character is presented in scene. So when you are your character, you are fully immersed in your character. Stilts. You are known for your stilts. People should not see you not in stilts, all right? And I mean that. If you're just walking around and you're not in your stilts, you're actually breaking character. Macy, anything? I believe we were trying to add in the party animals, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, so I was thinking about creating a whole big dance um, for them all together. Um, cool. Like, hey, that's Vincent. Yeah, I have Matt throw out one of those balls in order to explode. A hundred percent. That's a great example right there. Good idea. What's up? Rhett locked all the bathrooms, <laughs> and we have about 100 people here. I'm unlocking the bathrooms. <laughs> Make sure you lock them back. So we have three cameras. We're going to be shooting three different things all at once. <laughs> we will need to do each dance three times. <laughs> Get every shot that we need, and be out lickety split. Ready and action. The greatest show came out of we're starting this tour. We need something big with a bang. So I took that and just ran with it. I didn't want to just include our players and our characters, but our entire front office as well. This was something that I don't think I ever thought was going to be possible to do here. There's a hundred people on this field right now. We're gonna get this right. All right, all right. We're gonna try it with music, okay? Here we go. so much. I mean, think about this one. Who are our biggest fans of <coughs> us? Us. And you just made a lot of us really happy. And you're <coughs> a lot of us excited come Thursday. So I'm glad. Going into the tour, that's very valuable in more ways than you know, my friend. The greatest ship went out the day before we went to West Palm Beach. So the day before our tour started, that was the coolest bus ride because the entire way down, I'm just hearing from all different parts of the bus. Oh. Boom, baby, West Palm Beach, let's roll. Welcome. Oh, that Florida air smells good, baby. Woo! Welcome. The excitement is undescribable. To put it into perspective, it's like eight, nine months of work that you're putting towards this tour, and then all of a sudden, everything just kind of becomes reality. Yeah, this uh, this snuck up on us, but we knew it would. Beyond fired up. I mean, this is what it's all about right here. We're gonna blow the top off all 33 of these cities. There's just this calm confidence going on right now. We have a couple special guests joining us. 
and we know that we're probably gonna have about 7,800 people here tonight. Hey, look, it's a big night tonight, one of 90. Uh, this is opening night of the 2023 Banana Ball World Tour, and we've got an opportunity to do something great tonight. Guys, we have the opportunity to shock the world. We know the world's watching. And we're gonna do things tonight we've never seen before. We're gonna have the first ever fireball, all right? Which is absolutely crazy. But I want us to always come back to who we are and what we stand for. Every game is someone's first game. They'll remember all the craziness, but what they'll remember most is that one time you go up and sit down and spend some time and tell them that you care. So we're gonna go 90 games. We're gonna go on a crazy run, a crazy journey. But I want us to come back to that. That's this culture, that's who we are, that's what we're all about. Are you guys with me on this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Welcome to the greatest show in sports. It's the opening night of the 2023 Banana Ball World Tour, loved by Zappos. And you are looking at the parade pregame from West Palm Beach, Florida, the ballpark of the Palm Beaches. Are you ready, Banana Nation? Let me hear you out here. We're ready to kick off the Banana Two-hour time limit in Banana Ball starts right now. Here we go. Fans, this first yellow Banana Ball is going to Cooperstown to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. How about that? You heard it from Jesse. The first official yellow Banana Ball is now a part of history. Kyle is going to start the clap. Yep. Here we go. Jackson Olsen joining him at the mound. Let's see what that Cowboy's got for us. He's dunked the ball. And the ball's on fire! My goodness! Oh, it just, just misses the outside, outside corner! Wow! <laughs> we probably practiced it 15, 16 times. I'm still waiting for some of my hairs to grow back. Uh, after the game, my mom sent me a text telling me that if I ever do something like that again, that I, she needs to know about it. Dude, there's so much energy right now. This ballpark is 10 times crazier than it was last year. These people are going nuts, and we're having a whole lot of fun, man. It was the most electric crowd. The place was definite. <laughs> You hear those fans? We can't even hear ourselves down here. So the guys are just amped up. That ball is destroyed to left center. A no doubt bomb from Bryson Bloomer. Bloom goes the dynamite. Celebrates with some juice at home plate. I get to welcome one of the true legends of our nation's pastime, Tim Kirchin, into the broadcast booth. How are you doing, Tim? I'm great. This is my first Bananas game, and I must say, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and I love it. These people are having a tremendous time. None of this works. The circus, the carnival doesn't work if these guys can't play, and clearly they can. And David Meadows makes a backflip catch in center field. My goodness. And the fans have been rowdy. Eight innings in the books. In a four to two game, Nanners will need two runs to send this thing to showdown tiebreakers. Three runs to walk the whole thing off. And now we've got the inning tying run at first. And the inning winning run in the box in the form of Noah Bridges. As Bridges, high fly ball, deep to right center go, field. Go, go. It's one hop off the wall. Oh, Dio Meadows safe at home. Noah into second. This game's tied. Four runs to four. Here come the Bananas. Noah Bridges represents the game-winning run at second base.
Best show we've ever put on. Everything that could have went right from entertainment to baseball to how it ended was so exhilarating. A three run bottom of the ninth inning. A game I could never imagine. I mean, if this is the first game, what's, what's in store? That's only day one. Wait for day two. We're gonna do it again tomorrow. The party animals had an even more legendary rally on night two. They scored four runs in the top of the ninth. And Brett Helton, the quickest inning in banana ball history at a minute and 27 seconds in the bottom half before showdowns. That's where we saw the first ever showdown chase. Dalton Cornette was able to outrace Matt Malatesto around the bags. And in the end, it was Grayson Bloomer's bases clearing knock in round three of showdowns that would be the difference. I think a lot of people have doubted us throughout the years and they've said, it's not real baseball. They're just players that can dance. When you entertain and when you put the fans first, you play better. Now we ship up to Daytona and a week from today, we'll be back in Savannah for the home opener.